Hi guys, a very warm welcome. This is Sanaram. We all from COVID-19 pandemic have learned a big lesson. That is, if we don't have backup fund or which we can quote as emergency fund in our life to back us up, then we will end up in a big mess. We can borrow money from others, but the truth is we have to give it back, which will become an additional burden to us. So, when we are in good times, getting good income, we should prepare ourselves for the time of crisis because we don't know what will happen and life is uncertain. So speaking about emergency fund, it is a mandatory thing and there's a small calculation for it and that is if you're someone who is earning 30,000 per month, just multiply it by 6 which is 2,40,000 should be your emergency fund. And the same time, if you're someone who is earning 30,000 now and is not having an emergency fund, you can't remove a big amount and keep aside because we have our monthly expenses and day-to-day -day expenses. But yes, we all know little water make the mighty ocean. So we have to start saving that little bit. So I'll give you a small example here. If you're an individual who's earning 30,000 per month, 7,000 is your month rent and maybe 4,000 for your groceries. You have additional 4,000 for your fuels and other smaller purchases. So 15,000 is done, which you can't say no to. And in case if you have an EMI, you have to keep that aside as well because all these expenses cannot be said no. They are mandatory. We have to do them. Now in your hand, you'll be having 10 or maybe 15,000 depending on your mandatory expenses. In this, you have to keep a small part as emergency fund, maybe 5,000 or 3,000. The additional amount what you have can be used for any emergencies in that month or you can keep it as savings. So savings and emergency fund are two different things. Emergency fund is something which gives you helping hand during crisis and savings is something which we have to pile up and then invest and then get returns. And you have other financial goals which are to be met. So this will help you in that time. So emergency fund is mandatory. As I mentioned, start calculating your income today itself. See what is your mandatory expenses and then see how much you can keep aside for emergency fund. If you are someone who has been working for five years and if you have kept two or three thousand every month aside for an emergency fund, you wouldn't have suffered during the pandemic crisis. So why we all suffered is because we never thought of this backup fund, which is the emergency fund. So from today, we'll start doing it and we have just received our salary. So obviously, we'll have a good amount of money in our hand. So we can go ahead and start building this emergency fund so that we can reach that 2,40,000 or maybe above it, which will help us during the crisis time. I would like to add something else here. Let us assume an individual has medical insurance and is not having emergency fund. Medical insurance is also mandatory. If you have not taken, please go ahead, look into it and get one for yourself. So this individual meets with an accident. Now, the medical expenses will be covered by the medical insurance. But again, who will pay the room rent? Who will feed the person and other expenses and EMIs if it is there? Who are going to take care of this? No one is there. Only an emergency fund can give you a helping hand in this situation without touching your main portfolio. And in case if we end up liquidating the investments which we have kept for our future financial goals, then we will never attain them. So, in order to attain that financial freedom in life, to take the first step to reach our financial goals in life, we have to start an emergency fund. So, I gave you a small calculation. So, start with 3000 or maybe 5000, whatever is possible from your side because we all know we end up spending this 3 or 5000 somewhere or the other during our month. And we say we don't have sufficient money, but when we receive our salary, when we keep this aside and say, I'm not going to touch it. No, this is for the time where I actually am suffering. Then you will have a control over yourself and you will have money behind you, which will back you up in the time of crisis. So one message I wanted to convey to you through this video is start building up the emergency fund. One person who can help you at the time of crisis is yourself. And of course, we need money to back us up. If you have good income now, if you're getting something in your hand, Try to keep a little bit of money aside for emergency fund and remember you should actually have your monthly income into six as your emergency fund and soon we will reach there. Now we are in the beginning stage. We'll start now and soon of course we'll reach there. So my video comes to an end here and in case if you have not installed the financial freedom app, go ahead, click the link and register yourself. Why financial freedom app? If you ask me this, financial knowledge is mandatory. We don't give much importance to it. It doesn't matter how much we earn. It matters that how we manage the money, what we earn. We should think about emergency funds, savings, investments, getting returns, improving our lifestyle, 
everything matters even taking loan matters because people end up taking loan with higher interest why because we don't have sufficient financial knowledge and that financial knowledge will be provided to you through this financial freedom app so go ahead and register yourself we have nearly 28 courses within and we are adding continuously new courses just for you so don't miss this opportunity take it in coaches are there who are going to teach you step by step and your life will transform so don't delay register yourself and this is sanara i'm signing off from this wonderful video think about the emergency fund and start building it i'll see you again in the next video until then you guys take care